Well, hello there, it's Darren here. I'm in the shed checking out my new shed second hand again, second part. So, I was down here on Tuesday. Uh, I thought I found uh, some batteries partly charged, so I managed to get so far with it. Obviously, finish off uh, the front here, screw that down, and then start to put the braces on the lats and all that for the roof. Uh, like I said, it's okay, but I'm gonna. I did have a part for the centre here, but I had to basically make one myself because I lost it somehow. Uh, that'll be getting covered with plywood eventually. Uh, I did strengthen the top with a bracket that I got from my polytunnel. Uh, I'm missing a part uh, here, there's meant to be a part here, but I couldn't find the, uh, the L-shaped things that were there, so I've had to buy these, the, the class is corner brackets, but I call them as L, L plates, and some flat ones. And uh, I've got quite a few of these from the polytunnel. And what I'm going to do, so as you can see, there's gaps there. No matter how much you try, unless you're perfect, you can never get the perfect uh, straight roof and everything. So there's gaps there. So this wood that I've had for quite some time, I'll go there and then I'll go between there and there. Shape them and obviously that'll be on there. Uh, I might put an L1 there. And then so and so on each. Uh, well, there's no gaps there, but I will put some between here as well. So I'll, tr I'll try and brace as many as I can to support the roof that bit more. Uh, and as you can see, there's that gap there. So the size was 2440 length by 1220. I knew I had a feeling. Uh, when I took the shed down, I should have measured the roof to see what the width was. Not the length, I wasn't really bothered about that, but the width so they could go in the centre. But I didn't, and I forgot. And maybe I should have had a bit more lip over here, as you can see. I've got a little bit, but there's going to be uh, wood, wood that goes along here when the uh, felt goes on. So anyway, what I did, I basically measured from there, because obviously it would have been going there, so from there to there and let's be give it that size so these will be going at the top of the length uh, hopefully it'll be enough I've done six I've had to hand cut it with a saw that's when you feel like you should have an electric saw but I didn't so that's gonna go the full length along here and we'll see that once it's finished so This, this bit will sink it down because there's no wood on it. Uh, so it's sort of going to be able to sink it down a little bit over there. Well, I'll sort that out. So we'll get down. Oh, yes. Uh, sort of cover the holes there. Uh, as I said, this part here is sinking down a bit because the wood wasn't quite resting on there. So what I'll do, I'll uh, take a brace that we've got here. I'll probably make another brace that'll go here and I'll lift it up. Uh, I've got a bit of wood outside that's uh, quite central that, lifts, that lifted this part up. So I'll do the same there and I'll probably do the same here as well. Just give it more uh, strength. So I'm happy that's on there to cover them gaps. Obviously, with the gaps being here, and it's been raining as you can see, you can just see the line all the way along there. Obviously, I haven't got the uh, glass in yet. I have got plastic off the previous one so that I just fit in there and it's got clips that you just put on the outside but as I said my batteries ran out can't find me charge at all at home god knows where that is so what we need to do now is uh, get the, t the coal tar on which is uh, right here I've used it before works fine uh, I've, I had some brushes at home uh, I've just bought these rollers here for a pound from Yorkshire Trading. Will do. Uh, just as long as I get a nice thick layer of that to go on there, then put the felt on. It's quite some weight. It's 10 metres. So I th think I'm sure, I'm sure this it works out to 3 metres, 3.5 metres. 
So I'm going to obviously put a strip down the centre. No, strips on the side first, and then a strip down the centre. That should be 10 metres. And then uh, I might go that way. Actually, I'm going to go over the edge a little bit. Because, uh, the water's been coming through, as you can see here. It's a bit damp there. And in these corners as well. So I use that, some of that tar stuff. I'll get some stain just to uh, stain a little bit. I don't know. But then I need to sort this this floor out. As you can see, it's starting to dip dip down. We'll get that sorted. So we'll come back once I get most of the stuff felt on the shed. Right there you go. Friggin' hell! What a job that was. Uh, See, we're slightly over there, so it's hopefully going to dry. It's not cold, tar. Uh, it's been tack. I wasn't going to put any little tacks down. Felt tacks. Anything else? I have, just in case, just in case the wind gets under there and lifts it up, in case it doesn't dry quick enough. If it was warmer, it would probably dry quicker. Oh, for God's sake, you know what I mean? It's getting all over, I'm getting it all over myself. Anyway, the road was quite heavy to put on there, rolled it all the way down here, roughly coloured as you can see. Get down. Uh, obviously kept falling off of the wind. And started putting the little bit of coal tar all the way along and just rolled it as I went along. See a little flap down here, bent that over to a rough just because uh, I had seen a few uh, reviews on uh, Amazon when I got this uh, felt and they said it was crap, it was quite brittle, but it, I think it's quite good actually. But it was all the stuff they got, but anyway, uh, I haven't quite got it over. That says there, I mean, too much over there that way. I'll sort that out as well. Like I say, it's just tarred it, rolled it, tarred it, rolled it, and obviously after that, tacked it. I say tack, don't know. Uh, but yeah, sorted. And I've used about oh, a third of the tin for that. So I'll get the other side done. I had this, that, up there, but the bloody wind blew it off. So I've got to sort that out. And then one day, I say, once I've got both on both sides, and then I'll put a flap over there and sort it out. Let's get that sorted. So there you go, sorted. It took us a good few hours. Uh, I've been on the end there, it's a bit flabby. Because uh, I've got to do that dinner on the other one. the shape but I've done the best I can uh, I just needed to get this sorted I just needed this roof on finished and basically watertight so uh, don't worry this isn't on because uh, it's collapsed and it's because I was worried in case when I was on there it may collapse uh, but yeah once uh, I get uh, my battery charger, I find my charger at home, uh, I will find it, I'm going to look for it tomorrow, it's, it's there somewhere. Uh, what I'll do, like I say, is I'll get braces, I'll put them in between there, I'll get another and the other two braces like these, I'll make them and I'll put them right across here, right across there, obviously finish the door off. And finish the uh, the windows off and the flooring. Uh, like I say, it's sticking up a bit. I think there's something stuck under there, so I might just rip it up a little bit and have a look. But the thing is, I've got now. Oh, I've got where there. I've got one more sheet left, haven't I? So the flooring wasn't exactly the best. Some of it was rotten, so I'm going to put that down on the floor. I wish I'd got five now, I've got four. Uh, so that'll probably 
do this length here and that space there uh, it's not too bad when you walk on it not too bad it's maybe that space so like i says i'll put some across there uh, i've got a bit there left but yeah apart from that i'm really happy this is this was my main task for the whole bloody week this obviously the battery keep uh, running out uh, but i'm quite happy with what i've got done like i say it's starting to drizzle a little bit now uh, there's meant to be storms this weekend so this was my main task today to get it sorted but yeah i'm really happy happy that the, it's sorted it's done and i can uh, sit at home not worrying think yourself that i bought it's getting ruined but yeah this is a bit of water getting in here through the door doesn't really matter anyway it's bye from me hopefully whatever tasks you're getting done uh, it's, it gets sorted it's bye from me i'm in me shed i'm in you shed eventually bye